Hello and welcome to In the Hyperloop. My name is Blake. In this news pod, we're talking about the online course that you can take right now. Week one is released for the Hyperloop course made by TU Delft. Um, it's amazing. I've already met a lot of people around the world um, through their online forums and other students, and it's just really fun um, to get a great background in Hyperloop and the technology needed to um, build a Hyperloop pod. And so I'd highly recommend you set it up. Um, Delft Hyperloop really did a good job in producing this. Um, and it's really clear of just kind of what they do and how their team runs. And it's just really nice to see this course. Congratulations to uh, them on building this online course. And it's free and you can take, you can spend about $50 for a certificate, but I'd highly recommend you just do it. <laughs> so EPF Loop from Switzerland um, released this motherboard video and it's really fun. I'd highly recommend you watch it. It gives a great background of their team, um, of the technology, and of the history of Hyperloop in Switzerland. Um, turns out there's a rich history uh, from this university in uh, building a, a possible Hyperloop back in the 70s. So check it out. Definitely awesome. Congratulations for producing this video as well. It's great. Um, Zelleros Hyperloop is working hard and representing and they've been um, finding new partnerships for infrastructure and so I just wanted to give them a shout out. Zelleros is um, Spanish team. We're a part of the SpaceX pod competition but now they're an actual company so good job. Next is a new company, Eurotube, and they are also based in Switzerland, um, but they're focusing on the, the infrastructure, on the actual cement and the tubes um, that all of these fast um, transportation types will go in, as you can see in the photo. And, you know, it's just a really interesting company. Um, I'd highly recommend you follow them on social media and visit their website, eurotube.org. Um, it's a nonprofit organization that's building technologies and establishing a cutting edge test and development infrastructure for sustainable ultra high speed vacuum ground tra transportation. Um, it responds to the growing demands of teams that are building vehicle prototypes and industry stakeholders in need for such testing for their research and development in Europe. Various European university teams and young companies are building pods without ideal testing environments for their vehicles because the necessary infrastructure is too expensive for them to build. With this, leading, with this uh, leading partner with Eurotube intends to meet the requirements and share research facilities and advanced joint projects. Um, their tweet um, earlier from their team um, it shows a little bit of their technology of airtight textile reinforced concrete tube for vacuum transportation. So, you know, cost effective and durable. It's really a thin tube and I'm not sure what kind of textile that is. Um, so minimum amount of, you know, applied concrete, maybe this is sprayed on or something. It looks like a spray where they just need to make the shell. Um, also, they've been working for a while, um, since August 2018, and they want to build a really long um, test track. Um, I, I don't remember exactly, I think it's in their update section, um, a three kilometer long research and infrastructure uh, test track um, in the Canton of Valais. So that's great. They're also working with the Swiss um, railway uh, organizations that make sense. Um, so congratulations to yours. We really look forward to following you guys in the future. Um, the sad news for today, it appears that Hyperloop startup Erivo is shutting down as workers are laid off. It appears they were furloughed back in November. This is a great article that you can read about in the notes. Um, it's been a bumpy ride and um, it looks really promising. We don't know any more details than this article. I haven't really heard anything. So just, you know, an interesting detail. This might be one of the first Hyperloop companies that are um, taking a prolonged siesta. And um, we'll continue to track this as more news articles come out about this. But um, just a heads up that in the Hyperloop 
will be in LA for the Boring Company reveal December 18th and we'll schedule to do a live stream at 3 p.m. but we don't really know much of details of what's going on. Um, we're not invited to anything so we'll just be hanging around. But it's going to be a really fun event. I'd highly recommend you join us at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and stay in the loop.